welcome to another Obsolutely Tech video. So today we are looking into the software development kit for uh, Aura Graphical User Interface, El Kersh C. Um, so what we're going to do here is we've got the theme manager and we're going to replicate that inside um, El Kersh and look at the actual C file and we're going to make some changes. So one of the benefits of this new uh, version is, is we can see all these coordinates here. You've got your X and Y's for your tops and bottoms and right hand side and all that sort of stuff. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw it out with uh, you know, the new development app based on this sort of uh, concept here. Um, where we're going to turn the theme manager into an app store. So. All you have to do is replicate in uh, Elkirsch buttons and everything for the existing version of Theme Manager, and then you know you, you can visualize it here and change it. So we can drag this button across and then change it in the code like this. But eventually we want it to be able to do this by itself, so you don't have to manually enter stuff. It's just going to make building the user interfaces so much faster than having to do it uh, this way. So this is kind of how we do it. So we made one little change there and I'll just show you quickly. There you go. The install app button is now on the bottom left. Easy as that. Now obviously you can just look at the source files and, and figure it out yourself, but like, you know, if, if you can visualize it, it's much easier to see because you can see what it looks like and if it can generate the code, then that's just going to take um, a lot of the work out of building uh, the user interfaces for your apps. And Previously, we couldn't do this in the older versions of El Kirsch, where you could save it, so you would actually have to draw these every time and uh, try and remember what you were, you were doing, and you get the gist of it. But like sometimes, if you came back after a few weeks, you just forgot what you're doing. So at least this way, everything's saved. So now you can see it's saved like that. So we we can change this entire user interface now, just based on visually uh, the X and Ys all these different coordinates. So that's really starting to shape up. We'll put a file system, uh, menu system up the top left hand side here. There we go, boom. 
and it's really starting to shape up and look like um, an app store. We'll get a few more functions happening and then uh, in the next video we'll do some of the TCP stuff and see if we can get it to uh, pull a file off the DOS Core server. So join me next time. Um, this video was just like a demonstration of how much more time and effort goes into trying to make the user interface um, when you don't just have a program that can generate the code. So that's why we kind of want to push for that, uh, just to speed this whole part up and then you can spend more time on building the uh, Good deal. functions and all that other stuff. So anyway, until next time.